A group of well-meaning but misled people are predicting the end of the world this year based on the calculations of false prophet Harold Camping. Specifically, they're calling for Judgment Day to occur on May 21, 2011. They say this is when the rapture, or the catching up of Christians, will take place. While I believe in a coming rapture, I don't believe in Harold Camping or his calculations. Aside from God's plain statement in the Bible that no man knows a day or the hour, there are at least two other verses from the Bible which bear on this matter. First, in Matthew 24:20, speaking of the tribulation, Jesus told the Jews in Judea to pray that their flight wouldn't take place in the winter or in the Sabbath when escape to the mountains would be especially harsh. This shows that that day is not fixed by calculation since it can be changed by prayer. Jesus said to pray about the day, and he wouldn't have said that if prayer couldn't change the day. Conveniently, Mr. Camping doesn't accept this great tribulation flight as Jesus literally taught it. So let me offer a second verse to show Mr. Camping's error. In 2 Peter 3.12, the Apostle Peter tells Christians that by living holy and godly lives, we can hasten the day of the Lord, when the heavens and the earth will be destroyed by fire. Mr. Camping says this will happen on October 21, 2011. But this day cannot be fixed by calculation either. It's a variable, since Christians can change it by the way we live our lives. While Judgment Day is coming, when it doesn't happen on May 21, the unfortunate effect will be to desensitize the lost. As Peter said in 2 Peter 3.4, scoffers will say, Where is this coming he promised? Ever since our fathers died, everything goes on as it has since the beginning of creation. Well, at least we'll have one more day to point after that day. Jesus warned that there would be many false prophets, and Mr. Camping will have fulfilled that prophecy and accelerated the great apostasy.